Hello everyone, welcome back to the Avid YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the interesting topics in AI market which is called Julius AI. If you are a business analyst, data analyst, this AI tool is most known in 2025. Now, what is Julius AI? Julius AI is a tool where you can analyze the data, visualize the data and understand the data by just writing a simple prompt. Okay, it can create a visual for you, it can analyze the data for you and it can give the insight for you. So let us understand the Julius AI, okay? So let's jump into this JuliusAI.com. This is the interface of this AI platform. Okay, o over the left hand side, you can see I have my threads where, which means I can uh, see the recent chat, my workflows. If I have created any workflows that I can see over here in this particular section, my files, whatever files which I'm going to upload or I can download will be available in this particular section. Okay, now this is a part where I can see, I can upload my five files I can upload the text file, CSV file, or Excel file, okay? And Google Sheet, I can connect with the Google Sheet and manage the grids if I want to extract the data from the, any API services, okay? Now, my files, whatever files I can upload it, you can see my files over here as well. Now, this is the workflows. I can uh, pick a workflow where I want to analyze the data. I can create a visual out of it, and uh, this is a data cleaning. If I, have a, if I want to create a workflow where I can clean the data, this is a workflow I can pick. Significance, uh, significance if I want to run any statical model into my data. Time series, if I want to analyze the time series wise data, okay, forecasting the data. And extract the table from the PDF. If I, if I have a data on the PDF file, I want to extract the tables or data from that particular PDF file and analyze it. So this is a work. So let us upload this. Let us upload the file into this uh, particular section. So over here, I'll upload some file and do some cleaning in, on that file and then later you can do a visualization on it, okay? So over here, <clears throat> so over here you can see uh, upload file option and I, for that, I've chosen a sales data set, okay? Now click on open and uh, this thing is analyzing the data for me, okay? Now as you can see in the data, it's showing me the top 15 records of my table. I can see the transaction ID, category, city state, both are the same column, order date, uh, subcategory, discount, profit quantity, and sales I have, okay? Now let us upload this data and ask to do something. And let's go ahead. I uploaded the data and it's thinking, it's using the logical thinking and trying to analyze the data for us. And uh, uh, okay, so it's saying I help you examine the sales data. Let me first load and take a look into the data. So over here, the backend of this particular AI, it's a Python. Okay, you can change the Python into a R or if you want to make it as a name Python, that's the backend of it. So over here, whenever you upload some data, you can have a backend if you want to run Python, R. So whatever backend it will be, whatever backend will be running, that will be the output it's giving to me. Okay, so it's analyzed the data for me. Okay, it's loaded the data in the table form. And it's showing that we can record and what are the columns I have. Now it's asking for you what you want to do with. Let us see, let's uh, let's say I want to uh, clean the data, clean the data. And what I want, I want to clean, remove, remove the null column, null sales column. And let's give one more task, separate the city and state into two columns and delete the comma separate city state column now let's see what is this for you see it's running python code backend and uh, let's see weights what is showing table view and as you can see the city state column which is got removed i can see that city and state column now have been created in this particular column and there was a discount column which was null it got removed okay now this is a very interesting thing now let's say i want to find out what is the total quantity so over here i can see the quantity is in the, having a slash or hyphen let us see what it is do i want to analyze the data let's say if i give one insight uh, what is the total quantity so the python code is running in the backend and uh, 
the total quantity is saying 665 and is remove the slash hyphen by itself because that is a delimiter sitting on that column. Now it's let me uh, show in good format. Now uh, I want to download the clean file. Okay, now it saved the file in the Excel format, it's running the code. Uh, so here you see, I, it's gave me the link of that file and now let's click on that. It's working. Uh, the clean file is downloading, as you can see, it's downloaded. Now let me open that file. Now, as you can see this file, it's got cleaned. I got, no, it's not got clean because that was not permanently removed. Okay, slash hyphen was still there. Okay, for us, it's just showing the total quantity. Let us say, uh, I want to clean the file and remove the slash hyphen. So it's running the code and now as you can see the table and uh, now I can see I got the clean file and I can download over here. Okay, now let's go back to this thread and I want to visualize the data for me. So let's run a workflow, okay, and uh, what I want to do, I will upload the file which I got from the Julius. And if I go, if I go to the my files, whatever a file which I've told to this Julius, so it's saved on the my files folder. Okay, so let us select it, the file which got cleaned by this Julius AI. Now let's open that. Okay, now it's analyzing the data. Okay, and. Uh, now let's write some command over here. What is the total sales in subcategory? And if you run the query, it's running, generating the Python code for us, and uh, it's running again. So over here, you can see I got the subcategory by total sales and uh, but I can export the data and if I want to expand it, you can click on that, it will expand on the left hand side. And let's say I want to show running some by order date and in line chart let us see how it's working so over here you can see i can see the running sum by line chart that this ai that's created for me i can see the visual over here Okay, you can edit the visual, you can uh, rewrite whatever chart you want, if you want in bar chart, column chart, okay. That is AI, it can, it can do for you, okay. So let us ask some business related question, okay. That will help us to get the more visual. Which subcategory is not good performing in each in the country? Now let's send the query and see what's the output I'm getting over here. As you can see, it's running the Python code. And it's trying to identify which one is the lowest one. Okay. So I see I get I can see the result which has got appliances, subcategory as the lowest total sales amount $65. And if you want further analysis, you can do it. So this is a 
where you can ask simple prompt okay and it will give you the result okay now let us go back and see what it can else do i can show you the i already show you the visualization part cleaning part you can do a significant a significance testing time series and you want to upload the data and in that is a pdf file and you want to extract it as it is work for you so whatever i have shown you today is just you can call a fraction of this due date ai or is very small part of this ai so you can check out their uh, use cases page which i will drop the link in the description where you can learn what are the different type of use cases you can learn from this particular uh, ai so be remember that this julius ai is gave you only uh, 15 prompts okay okay after that you need to pay to this ai in order to do more analysis so i hope you guys find this video very really useful so if you like this video follow ivy channel